Good morning, my friends, and welcome to our next installment of this week's micro learning on how to develop and build resilience so that you can make it through these tough times and also prepare for the ones ahead of us, which are always, always ahead of us, unfortunately, right? But that's just a part of life. Today's micro learning is going to focus on self awareness combined with seeking support. So what is resilience? I wanna just bring this up every single day this week. It's our ability to go through periods of high demand and land on our feet, basically. And one of the things I have noticed over the course of my entire life and career for 30 years, I'm 51, is that Resilience comes when we are self-aware of our situation and then we do something about it. So I'll give you an example. When I was getting divorced back in 2009, it was one of the toughest situations I had ever encountered in my entire life. And in addition to other personal stuff that I've had, but even before that, that was very tough for me. The situation, the circumstances, all of it. And I remember noticing how stressed and how much it was impacting me emotionally, physically, spiritually. And when I became that self-aware, there was something inside of me that said, I have to do something about this. I can't just ignore it. So that's where self-awareness comes in. Take stock, where am I now? What is happening? What is causing me so much stress and agita? And what's making me anxious? Once you are able to finger point that, you know, to get your pulse on that, then you can say, what are my options? In my example, one of my options was to start seeing a psychologist to help me process all these emotions that I was feeling, which I was not qualified to process on my own. And guess what? My friends and family were also not qualified to help me process those emotions. As much as they support me and love me, it was too much for them to be able to guide me as to what I was going through, what I was feeling, how I was putting things together, how I was trying to make sense of everything in the midst of being in that storm, right? So what about you? What are you currently going through that you need support with so that you can then process that? And once we process it, what happens is we're able to let it go or we learn how to manage it so that it's not running our lives, but instead we see the light at the end of the tunnel. And that's where the resilient comes, resilience comes in, right? So that we can get through that tunnel and through the storm and make it to the other end with a growth mindset, which I already spoke about, so that we can glean the lessons from that experience rather than let that take us down, which is what happens. And by the way, being taken down doesn't mean that you stop going to work or that you give up your responsibilities. Being taken down happens many times internally, where from the outside looking in, people see you functioning, you look quote unquote normal, but on the inside, you are hopeless, you are worried, you're fearful, you may be angry, you may be shameful. There's so many negative emotions happening inside of you that even though it seems as if you're getting through this, you're not really getting through this. And you know what I mean by that. So when you become self-aware of what is happening inside of you, you can look for the right support. I relied on my psychologist. I also had a coach who was helping me go through other areas of my life so that I could sort those out and get to the other end of this divorce and the other chapter <clears throat> in a much healthy, 
healthier way than I would have otherwise. So that's my micro learning for you today. And here is your challenge when it comes to increasing your self-awareness. I want you to take stock, especially around the holidays coming up with a lot of emotions seems to bubble up. Look, on a regular week, I spend most of my week when I don't have my son on my own, right? I have a few connections here and there, but for the most part, I'm on my own. That could be a source of depression for many people, right? Like, oh my gosh, you know, my family, I don't have a family 100% of the time. And there's that's one way to look at it. Another way to look at it is, oh my goodness, I have all this time to create, to be, um, you know, constructive with my time. And I'm able to connect with my friends. I am self-aware of what I'm going through so then I can take action that will support me so that I can feel the way that I want to feel. I don't let my feelings when I wake up drive me. I drive my feelings, all right? There's so much that we can talk about and we'll continue to do so through the rest of this week. For now, your challenge is to be self-aware about what am I going through right now and what do I need support with that my current support system cannot handle, such as your spouse, your partner, your kids, your friends, your parents, right? That I need support with. What do I need support with? Let me become self-aware about that and then look for options that would work for me, whether it's financially or given your circumstances. Options that would work for you. I'm your biggest advocate and I it really hurts me to see friends, to see family, to see acquaintances suffering. And part of the suffering is either lack of self-awareness or once the awareness is there, is feeling that you are empowered to do something about it. And I believe that we are always, always empowered to do something about it. That's my mindset. And I'm trying to portray that to you and help you develop that growth mindset that's going to help you become more resilient. I love you, my friends. Thank you for listening. And if you want to connect with us, you can do that at executivebound.com. Join our community. You will get valuable strategies and tools delivered to your inbox on a weekly basis and stay plugged in to an inspiring community of leaders. And if you want to connect with me personally and set up a complimentary strategy session, I am available. My calendar is accessible to you when you go to callwithginny.com. I'll see you soon.